UX is everything. <sighs> right, but it's it's not enough. Everybody, what's up and welcome to this week's Designer Mind. It's actually going to be kind of a rant because last week I did a video talking about why I think that web design as a business is bigger than UX, UI design. Which, and, and tons of people write me in the comments to, to explain to me that I probably don't understand what UX, UI means and that UX is everything and that every website has a UX and UI and so it's just part of it and UX, UI is not just app design or product design. And so here's what I want to explain. Um, I want to better explain my position and also give you some examples to show you why I think that it's not enough or what I mean by saying that it's not enough. So yes, obviously every website has a user experience. Every website has user uh, interface such as navigations and buttons and forms and so yes when you're doing web design even if it's a business website or something like that and not kind of a dashboard product design you still need to understand the core concept of user experience and user interface and it's true you have to understand what are the best practices and you have to understand what to do and what not to do that being said it is not enough and it totally um, misses the point or ignores the point that when it comes to web design, there's a lot of storytelling and creativity and visuals and image making, which yes, you can say that it's part of user experience, but let's be super honest. When you go and learn user experience and when people tell you about the processes and the researches and the, you know, all the user centric, nobody is ever going to t talk to you about how to make something emotional, how to make a powerful visual. And that is something that is so important when it comes down to web design. So yes, you can say that at UX is everything, right? When you go into a restaurant, you have an experience there. So you might say that the chef who is making and, and designing the plate, he's a user experience designer, right? Because he created an experience. But come on, guys, you know the truth and you know what we're talking about. And what when you write UX design on Google and press, you know, enter, what results you're going to get. And it's not you know, sound design and it's not how to cook beautiful food. It's going to be around usually product design. And so let me give you a few examples of websites. And I just wanted to, to keep in mind that those are, so I'm going to show you a few examples of websites of agencies. So basically they are the same business and their websites are trying to do the same thing, which are to tell the story of this agency what they're doing and how they are different. And I'm not going to dive really deep, but let's let's go into this. So th here's one agency um, which has this kind of like people, um, people images of the people who work there and they're kind of telling you we are uh, fierce, uh, we are uh, stoked. So they're kind of like telling their story this way. Now, if you would think about the user experience or what's the user interface here, right? So maybe they have a menu here. You can click the menu and see the menu. Okay, that's the user experience, but, and there is no button here. So in terms of, you know, UI, what's the UI here? Because what you see here in the background, this animation, those images, I don't know if you could call it user interface. And uh, is it part of the experience? Obviously it's part of the experience. But if you go here, this is, Again, another agency, the, maybe the same menu here, which is the user interface. But then again, we have something different here, which is, you know, when you hover, you see also um, videos of the images. They're also telling you who they are, but in a different way. When you get to this point, again, you have a menu here. So the, the, the user interface is almost similar in all of them, but they're telling the story in a different way. And this agency, again, has a menu here. Everybody has the menu here. Good for you for learning how to do user interface, but they've made this other cool video because every one of them is telling their story differently, creatively, using video, using typography, using visuals uh, that they create. And all those things, I feel like they are so important and so powerful, and yet nobody's really exploring them and, and learning how to do them and focuses on how to tell great stories on the web, where honestly, 
if that button is a hamburger menu or it says menu, if the user interface is a little this and a little that, that's not what people are going to remember when they experience those websites. So the most of the experience that goes into those websites is not like the flow or the, you know, how to achieve the goals, right? Yes, they, there, there are strategic goals. You need to do research on the customers and everything, but it's something much more creative, much more emotional um, that you learn. It's probably more, I would say, similar to maybe poster design where you you focus on, yes, you, you even in, uh, you know, you have goals when you design a poster, you have interface and you have an experience, but you need to kind of tell a story with a very powerful visual. And I feel like this is what I talked about when I mentioned that those are not the same thing. So yes, obviously web design has all the elements of UX, UI design, but there is more to it than just understanding how to make something functional, right? It also needs to be beautiful, memorable, and, and very different from other things. Because if everybody could create the perfect experience, the perfect UI, everything would look the same. This is not the case. So. This was a little bit of rant about what I really think is the difference between UX, UI design and web design. Um, they are related, but they are not exactly the same. We'll love to hear your comments, your raging comments down below. <laughs> See you on the next video.